Hi everyone, my name is Dr. Duke. Good day to you all, and I'm going to teach you how to use the Lincoln Online System. Let me clarify that the Lincoln Online System is different from the Lincoln Learning System, where the, whereas the Lincoln Learning System is accessed only by the students, and the Lincoln Online System is the one that we're going to discuss right now, accessed by the staff and fellow lecturers. The limitation of this video is not for other communication purposes, but only for communication between lecturers and students. So I'm going to share to you the screen of how the Lincoln Online System would look like. This is the Lincoln Online System and we are now inside after logging in your username and password into the Lincoln Online System, you'll find your dashboard or what we call the menu board. So we're going to focus only on the Lincoln Online System communication for lecturers and students with the icon My Course Components. The master, if you have the master icon, uh, and discussion forums and um, uh, other activities such as your profile. Now, what are we going to discuss first? First, we're going to go to My Course Component and we're going to click the My Programs. And if you click this icon, My Programs, you will find your um, programs, which is found here with versions. These are the programs that are registered to you by your coordinators. And as for my programs, I have a lot of programs registered to me. I'm going to focus on the Master of Business Administration, which is the major in healthcare management with the license number KPTJPSBA6197. So when I click this um, version of 2021, uh, you will go through your program, which is the Master of Business Administration in Healthcare Management. And you can see this, there are a lot of subjects here. So you can focus on only one subject, subject the one that you teach. Uh, I will focus on management of healthcare services. So if I click this management of healthcare services, I will be arriving at the subject detail of the management of healthcare services which have the marks allocation and the assessment names. Uh, this is given by the faculty, so it is uneditable. You cannot edit this unless you have the master icon, which will lead you to the requ requisition of editing the subject code with assessment. So if you click this uh, faculty where you belong to and the course where you want to edit or request for a new syllabus edition such as the assessment format or any um, any syllabus information such as the code or the semester the number of credits this is the portal where you will uh, be led to and if you click the assessment because you're interested with the assessment maybe you can choose a form of assessment that you would like to request to edit the form of assessment, you can do so if you have the master master icon on your dashboard. This is the master icon on the dashboard. So the master icon on the dashboard is only allocated for coordinators and uh, some module leaders in your faculty. So now that you have requested, they will give your request and grant your request and you will find on your um, teaching uh, assessment breakup there will be changes on the names and marks allocation after it has been granted since you have requested it as being the module leader or the master in your in, in your subject registration or in your faculty or in your um, course outline or in your program so after we have requested, we go back to the dashboard and the next thing that we need to do is to um, request for creation of um, lecture notes. So when we click this My Lecture Note icon from the dashboard icon of My Course Component, it will lead us to the uh, creation of lecture notes. This is the creation of lecture notes. Uh, this is how it looks like. But before we can create a lecture note, we must go to your My Syllabi. This My Syllabi icon is found in the dashboard called 
my course component icon and why do we need to go through the my syllabi uh, we have to create the topic number the lecture and the topic name and the topic description so it is found on your curriculum all these topics why did it start in topic eight because i already have this this number seven and if i'm going to start back to number one i need to erase and delete the existing created topic details for the specific topic called uh, management of healthcare services. Now, the management of healthcare services is my choice of discussion. You can choose other subjects here that is assigned to you or other subjects that is belonging to that particular program or other programs so you can change the topic title for that specific subject and you have to choose the number of weeks so you have until 26 that is the course um, design of weeks and the total lecture is maximum of 26 weeks it can be maximum of four weeks it can be maximum of 12 weeks depending on what you're trying to teach you have to put here the topic title and you have to put the topic description so that you can create the topic. Now that you have created the topic, for example, you can go back to your dashboard and go back to your icon, my course component, and that's the time you can um, include, click the lecture notes and in, insert all the lecture notes that you wanted to insert. And it will lead you to this lecture my lecture notes um, submission icon wherein you can put in all your powerpoints and pdfs and books it is also it is also found here on the learning type icon where you can click all these circles to select which kind of learning type that you would like to have because you already have the topic title which is found on the creation of my syllabi and these are the topic titles health and disease medical sociology public and private healthcare, health systems model population health and contemporary issues in health management in health services management where do you find all these topic title you have to request for the curriculum because it has to be the same with the design of the curriculum together with the topic title so you cannot just invent or create or develop your own topic title that is doesn't match on the submitted curriculum design to the Malaysian Qualifications Agency or to the KPT. Therefore, the dean will give you the design of the curriculum so that you can insert there from your my syllabi the topic titles and you have to put here the date of your lecture. So upload all the lecture notes that you need here on the lecture note upload icon. But first, you must identify what type of lecture that you're trying to upload is it a problem-based learning resource sim seminar symposiums tutorial uh, other tutorials your url zip file or article assignment book case study these are the options that you have so the difference between a powerpoint and a lecture note is that the lecture note is on microsoft word document or pdf while the powerpoint is ppt called microsoft word powerpoint the sim is an acronym for self instructional module or self instructional material where you can write down in microsoft word document or pdf converted it from microsoft word document all the details and all the discussions coming from the topics that you're trying to insert so you cannot insert anything without selecting a topic select a topic first before you insert some urls or zip files or electronic books or pdf now you have to put here your file name, what kind of file name you're putting in, the difference between objective and learning outcome. The learning outcome is already found on the curriculum and you cannot change this. But the objective of the class for today is coming from your own words. What is your objective? The learning outcome is found in the curriculum which the dean will provide for you and you have to request this because you need to have a match of learning outcome from the curriculum design which the dean has already given and submitted for for approval therefore after you have finally uploaded whatever you want to upload you can submit be careful with uploading videos such as 
my own lecture videos because the maximum number of minutes for my own lecture video is 40 minutes uh, usually we submit three minutes because if you only submit less than three minute video it will not go inside therefore the minimum video submission is three minutes and the maximum is only 40 minutes no maximum no more maximum than 40 minutes can be uploaded here on the format of mp4 so the videos can be mp4 format and if it is not mp4 you have to convert it into mp4 before it can be accepted so there are other formats such as avi which cannot be accepted here the problem based learning is some microsoft word document as well that you can put there uh, the url does not require uh, to be to be uploaded but rather you can just type down the url format or if you copy paste the url format in the Microsoft Word document, you can also upload here on the upload option with the choosing of the file. So that is a very important thing because it is connected to the student's portal, which is called the Lincoln Learning System that they can access and they can see. And they are so excited to see all your lecture materials and lecture notes that is necessary for them to read and to download. The seminars can also be in a format of MP4 or uh, a three minute MP4 seminar or something that you did as a video or something that is saved on Microsoft Word document or PDF. Now that we have done our lecture note uploading where the students can communicate with you and download for, from their Lincoln Learning System, the next thing that we need to go to the dashboard is called the attendance so we go back to the dashboard of the home go to the my course component icon and click the my student assignment icon and uh, as my student attendance icon and click the non-allied health science attendance if you are from the non-allied health if you're from the allied health you click the allied health attendance and it will lead you to a portal we can call it a portal or we can call it a web page video window or or we can call it um a view window view and it will show you the online attendance sheet this is the new attendance sheet online and if you click the um attendance report range and it will lead you to the attendance report range so now we're clicking on the new attendance icon because there are no attendances yet um, this is the attendance icon and uh, you have to choose the registration index some calls it a cohort some calls it an intake some calls it a batch but here on the Lincoln Online System, they call it the Registration Index. And you have to choose the subject name. Remember, from what time to what time is very important. And the date of attendance is also important. The P means present, the A means absent, and the MC is a medical certification of uh, an excuse um, absences you can click absences and you can type down some excuses that they have for their absences and these are the names of the students you can submit all at once at the same time and you can edit their attendances if you made a mistake of giving them an absent if they were present at that day uh, it can be edited and you can view the attendance report and this is what you need to print out as an attendance report from your students so after you've done your attendance report um, we're going to go for an online uh, viewing of date range of your attendance report. Because you want to download the attendance report, therefore you need to click the view attendance report from which day from which day of attendance to which day of attendance that you are trying to download your attendance report. So after you have downloaded your attendance report, um, from which day to which day, you have to go to your assignment allocation dashboard or view window or portal. So let's go back to the home where you can find your assignment allocation dashboard. From your My Course component, you click the My Assignment Allocation Dashboard 
icon and if you click this my assignment allocation icon it will lead you to the to the assignment allocation icon so these are the assignments that i have given them based on the design that uh, it's required of me in this subject so this subject has to have a registration index and this is the name of the subject and the date of the assignment starts when and the expiration up to when you can write the assignment name based on the name of the assessment guideline that is found on your um, teaching and learning profile from your my syllabi therefore you have to upload the assignment guidelines students are very interested with the guidelines of how you want to conduct the assignment or how you want the assignment be submitted what are your um, guide for the students and your focus on that particular name of the assignments and you can edit this as you wish and this is the last date of submission remember to tell the students often that they should not miss out the date of the submission of the last day of the submission because if it closes down you cannot reorder it again or you cannot um, have it extended if it's closed down before it shuts down you have to edit it immediately otherwise the students will not be able to send or submit their assignment so once they have submitted their assignment you will find that they have submitted it here on this portal so what does this portal look like this is look like this look like the assignment feedback as you can see they have submitted all their assignment if you browse all the way down they have submitted all their assignment based on what you have allocated them this is found on the dashboard at your my course component my assignment icon to my assignment feedback and if you put click my assignment feedback they will show you your assignment feedback here they have a lot of assignment feedbacks found uh, based on what is your assignment name or assessment name it ranges from uh, case study to final examination and the percentage is found as well on your my syllabi found on um, teaching and learning my syllabi as you can see this is my syllabi teaching and learning and these are the marks allocated by the faculty and it is uneditable unless you request to change it and after you've done your my assignment we're going to the portal called um, uh, this is the creation of discussion forums so this discussion forum is very important because uh, you need to create a discussion forum for your students who are registered in your forum. As you can see, I have already did a lot of discussion forums on my subject called Management of Healthcare Services. Now, where do we find that in the dashboard? You have to go back to your home and see the icon, my course component on your dashboard and click the discussion forum. This is the discussion forum And this discussion forum has only one option called forum create topic. If you click this forum create topic, it will create your discussion. You have to put here your forum discussion title and the duration from which date until which date. And it will expire on that day. If it expires, it will go missing or it will mark complete with a red color here. And the students can no longer discuss. But if you click no, this no response from the students, they cannot discuss anything, but they can only see what you have, what you have uh, created in your forum title. Make sure you click yes so that the students can respond to your discussion forum. Now, it is very important for the students to respond because as you can see, um, in the join forum, there are a lot of discussions found here for the students to give their inquiries or to give their comments regarding the program. In this discussion forum, you can also upload unlimited number of hours of your video recording. If you have recorded your lecture for, for three hours to four hours, you can upload here and the students can download from this icon which you have uploaded when you submit. This It will look like a clip and they can upload this clip uh, with a lot of formats such as Microsoft Word document, PowerPoint, PDF, and MP4 format. 
in the um, my course component where you can upload your lecture notes which is my video lecture recording it's only up to 40 minutes but in the discussion forum it can be unlimited where the students can download all your lectures whether it's five hour lecture or three hour lecture it can be uploaded there but be careful with the date of expiration since it is expiring on september 30 here it is found here september 30 then they can no longer upload it will mark red here and they will no longer see that discussion forum anymore and if you want to see the students who are viewing your discussion forum you can find it here on the view icon if you click the view icon this is the view student student list this is the member list and you can find them there from the view of your student lists in your discussion forum these are their password number these are their comments and these are the number of visits on how many times they visit and these are their student identification number from Lincoln University College now after you have seen their uh, student lists you can now go to your portal called marking system because marking system is very important on uh, giving them their grades if you go back to your home dashboard where you can find your marking system is found on the my course component icon and all you have to do is click this my student mark and click the non-allied health or allied health your allied health or mark single entry or marks compilation subject wise or intake wise or combined intake or semester wise or examiner report so the examiner report will that will be downloaded and it, this is the report of your compiled marks so if you click marks on the non-allied health you'll find this portal and you have to choose the registration index found here and the assessment type that is already been set by your faculty that is uneditable and they have their own percentages for the finals exam it says here 40 marks this 40 marks is also not editable that means the faculty has decided on this and you cannot edit the total number of marks unless you request for it to be edited on your my syllabi request for your master's master's icon if you don't have the master's icon you cannot have a requisition to edit the full marks allocated neither the assessment type and the subject is is found here they can allocate the subject to you but you cannot give any marks until you do the eligibility of your students to submit their assignments so these are the eligibility portal how do i get here you go back to your home in your dashboard my course component and click the my eligibility students if you're from the non-allied health then you select non-allied health and if you click this non-allied health icon it will lead you to eligibility um, portal or window or dashboard and you can select the registration index and then put here the examination name where they are eligible and also the subject name which you want them to be and this this will list down the subjects registered students on your on your subject and uh, you can click there 100 percent they can only be eligible to take what kind of assessment that you have them wanted them to take be based on 80 percent to 100 percent attendance minimum of 80 percent maximum of 100 percent attendance so if they are not having more than 80 percent attendance then they are not eligible to take the finals examination or whatever examination name that you will choose from the examination name icon therefore um you can uh, you can eliminate them from sending assignments based on the eligibility of their examination and you have to click submit and they will the examination unit will receive your eligibility based on your uh, comments here on the student status so uh, if you feel that you missed out one student and you are having the masters icon here on the dashboard you can click here some uh, students 
configuration or you can just click the subject registration and click the add subject and it will lead you to this portal called subject registration so that you can click here the student identification number and you can have them in added them in your subject registration if there are students missing out some students are 50 in number some students are 100 in number and they might be missed out on the subject registration so you can just click here the identification number of the student and then you can click the view and then you can add more subjects to them based on their um, Lincoln identification number so let's try to to view a student identification number for example this student I will copy this student identification number and I will put here on the student ID portal um, then uh, I can click here the view so that I can see whatever subject that he is registered in but take note that only the master's icon the, the person who has the master icon can click this uh, Lincoln subject registration all right so it's it is logging me out because when you're not using your portal for more than five minutes or for more than six minutes it will lead you to again to be logged out so let's see the student registration adding of subject so now that I have added one subject to the student registration I'm gonna click add subject and I'm just gonna paste here the, the identification of the student and see if he is registered to a lot of subjects especially to my subject that I'm presently or currently teaching as you can see these are the subjects that the students have and there you go he is registered to your subject at this semester and at this subject code with the syllabus version of 2016 and credit name so there are other subjects that he's not yet registered to and you don't need to register them there unless they are they are um they need to be registered on that subject so this is the name of the student and the registration and the registration date and these are the subjects that he's not yet registered to only to the management of healthcare services so that concludes the lincoln online system that uh nest that is necessary for you to do as a lecturer and the limitation of this video recording or tutorial is only the communication between students and lecturers so that they can use the Lincoln online system. So I hope that you enjoy the topic, the tutorial for today and enjoy